okay, Aunt Savannah? We wanted to make the world a better place. I chose to do it from a lab and a boardroom. But Jessica wanted to fight. Happy birthday, Mommy. You have a beautiful heart, Lucy. Just like your mother. And that's what got her killed. I hate these types of stories where the parent always dies. Like this, this plot might as well be sponsored by Disney. Oh shit! Oh my god, her arm, her fucking arm. Her other arm. What she the fuck? Died for what she believed in. <gasps> That's the mom, right? Oh my god, her face! My little sister. Oh my god, this I is the worst. Your mom was, uh... She was very brave. Just like her grandpa. Damn, even the grandma got shot? Until we... meet again this is such a depressing intro like what the hell that little girl's gonna have mommy issues galore at this point you only make this kind of though on a pile of dead bodies lighten up she's the real deal hey she got her arms what are we getting into here mechanical license Anything she asked for, mate. Billionaire. This kind of shit doesn't exist. She's planning some battle. More like a war. On whoever killed her sister, Vision basically. Force. Man portable. Fuck. I'm thinking bigger than battles and wars. I brought you here to change the world. What do you have in mind? Welcome to the immersion. Your instructor has been activated. Okay. His methods are unconventional and often nuanced. But if you want to fight and face it, better be goddamn good. You woke me up, Sergeant Frank Woods. You look like hammered shit. It's all in your mind, Mason. In the real world, I'm pretty. The codes, you know, Mason, the codes! We'll talk later. What the hell's going on? All right, like the lady said, my name is Woods. Friend of the family. Okay. If you don't know who I am, tough shit. You will. Enough. All right, here's your deal. You come equipped with special issue weapons and gear. I will train you up and get you squared away. Now, maybe you're feeling frosty. You want to get right into the shit. Fine by me. Select combat immersion. Go off and mix it up with the bots. Wait a minute, is this, is this really not a story? I got your back. This is gonna be corny as fuck. So it seems like... We will take care of This is gonna be a fast-ass episode, I can tell. She's my problem. It's too late! Remember, you came to us. Just try it. Well, I did previously play Black Ops 4. And I guess in between... 
twice in one year. What's up with that? In between these little cutscenes, hey. well, you go and play with well, the operators, get to know them. That night, something was off. What night? The night you got your that hands night. and arms blown off, bro. You're out of your fucking mind. This is going to be a fast-ass episode. I'm actually pretty disappointed, but whatever. Either way, I really do appreciate you watching this episode, Black Ops 4. So thanks for the love and support. Why didn't they finish us? Because... They quit firing and two shots. Bam, bam. Uh-huh. Nothing. Well... Can make him the best anyone has ever seen. Wow, I could see why people have problems. This was all two years ago. I can't understand why, why people not? say Black Ops 4 was corny as fuck because You're the lack of story progression in this game is truly unbelievable. Just because you have like a one-minute scenes doesn't make it a story. Call, come on, Call of Duty, do fucking better. I mean, would it help with the plot at this point? Because this is corny. This is literally the first and last video of this series. Deadass, this is the first and last video. So she's alive? Wow. Dude, half the time she's just sleeping around in the fucking bed. This is corny. Okay. No one gives a fuck about you. You're a number. An asset. A pawn in someone else's game. The fuck? How are you? There's no time. They're here. Oh shit! He got blown to bits. This may be the most exciting clip I have to deal with within this episode. Your exits are compromised. Find another way out. What type of bullshit plot is this? So originally she's trying to figure out who killed her sister and then what suddenly that disappears since this guy is trying to deal with his own little plot of trying to get away. Bu this is bullshit. So basically in between the cutscenes I'm so originally the game had me play each operator getting to know their perks and stuff. But since I already did that I guess I'm only dealing with the cutscenes. And when they get what they want, they'll leave you for dead. Yeah, and this fast ass subplot, like really. Nani, look! This is Tony. Damn! She alive? How? Alone, you can put up a fight. I like how they have Together, two to three voice the actors. Lord have mercy, this is the corniest episode I've ever done in my motherfucking life. Stinks. Bola. Sorry, kid. No. It's you in the box. It's always been you. Blackout, story wise, the plot is horrendous. Zombie wise, it's pretty decent. Okay, so I have a lot of things that is actually grinding my gears right now. I went through all of each cutscenes, and this shit took me 10 minutes at the most. I usually like to do 30 minute video um, episodes. So for the fact that this shit was basically run through, not even halfway through this video is annoying me. 
Number two, I can actually understand why a lot of people have so much complaints about Call of Duty's plot. Because, frankly, and there was no fucking plot. This is literally the first and last episode of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. What the fuck? Anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching. Um, this is Lover of Ladies. I mean, I'm out at this point. I'm out. You know, I figured since the story was pretty short, I'm going to view the backstory of each operator that's in Black Ops 4. Hopefully, that can help with at least making this episode bearable to watch. So, let me see here. Damn, these guards are getting jumped completely. That's crazy. Damn. You do that. Just take this shit. Oh no. Betrayal. How typical. Fuck you. Damn. Are you with him? I'm not with you. That's right. That's right. Defend yourself. Oh shit. Damn. Okay, this is her backstory. Um, Baker. The last one was she Ajax. I need to know how she died. If she goes under, there's no telling when, if ever, she'll come back. Okay, so she's having PDSD moments. Flashbacks. Battery. Yeah, that's her name. That's a nice swing, girl. Good job. Awesome. Oh no, her fucking arm. My arm! Damn. Just do it! Now! It's too dangerous. She's weak. She might not make it through. Yo, look at those demonic soldiers! If she dies, we'll bring her back. We'll fix her. We oh my god. Fix everything. Even you. Yo, Savannah is demented as fuck. You'll make it. You will. Okay, this is Crash's backstory. That's Crash. I love his hair, though. Read him and weep. <laughs> oh, he didn't win. Wanker. You You're British. Cash, motherfucker. I'm broke. I fucked up. Well, that, that last hand cost you everything. Just in time. Get the fuck back. He lives or you die. We're going for a walk. Damn. You might want to hold him down. What is he gonna do? Is he taking out a bullet? Yeah, I knew it. So he's a doctor. You did good today, kid. Here's a token of my gratitude. Let me give you a friendly word of advice, mate. Less poker, more surgery. This is Fire Briggs' backstory, so let's see what's going on here. <gasps> That's the guy that be doing those atomic attacks? Oh, Lord, he's burning them alive. Yo, I need him in my zombie squad. You fucking dirty little thief! <laughs> You worthless maggot, just like your brother. Oh, that would piss me off to no end, bro. I could see why that kid's angry. <gasps> oil? No, not oil. Gas? Yeah, burn that bitch. I mean, sometimes you just gotta escape from an abusive situation. Don't look back, honey. Don't look back. Just keep walking forward. Aw, uh, so he's remembering his sister, Bendito. Having that doll is like having his sister close to him again. Okay, this is Nomad's backstory. Oh, the 
doggy! I love the doggies! Oh my god! Yo, this is animal abuse already. Oh, Call PETA. Here. Fuck, where did it go? Wait, is this is is this how Nomad meets his little companion? That's so cute. Both of you are gonna die anyways. I'm just waiting to see how long it's gonna take. Oh shit. Let's get the fuck out of here! Let's get the fuck out of here! Damn! He really got the fuck out of there. Shit. Mendoza. Tavo. I should have known it was you. Really? You set this up. Oh, that's it's fucked up. We killed our own. I had no choice, son. Son? So is the choice, sir. Attack him! Oh, that dog's eating him up, bro. Okay, this is Prophet's backstory, so let's see what he's all about. He's in a desert, breathing in all that dust. He has good aim, though. One shot, one kill. Damn, okay, I get it. You're definitely more than a Widowmaker, that's I for sure. Someone, Yo, behind you, bro. Someone's behind you! Oh, lord. You're not a human. I was off. Wait, that was being He's off? He's the best I've ever seen. Well, I can make him the best anyone has ever seen. Okay, Savannah, calm the fuck down, bro. Oh, okay. So this is Recon's yeah, backstory. And what I notice is I, I go to the pillars on the west side of the plaza. One that combined the backstories right of the operators with the plot. He's got something in his right hand. Shit. He saw you. At least one of the civs is wearing a vest. You must engage. One of them is a child. Locate and engage all targets. This is bullshit. Kill the kid? Firing. Target down. Firing. Damn. Find the child. We gotta kill the kid? I can't. It's a child. Oh my god. They're asking you to be a child killer. <gasps> oh, he killed the kid. Good job, soldier. You're thanking me for this? Check your scope. It was a test, Kamura. You just passed. Aww. Dismantle and stow the rifle. There's a woman you need to meet. Okay, this is Ruin's backstory. And that last backstory that I just witnessed, that was a horror blast test, like... On me, soldiers. This region ain't know nothing but the NRC for the past year. That changes today. Oh, shit. Contact, three o'clock, second floor. Three o'clock, second floor. Oh, shit. This place is about to blow. Uh, 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 oh. Over. Sir, eyes up. We have our orders, Walsh. We push through this hellhole and rendezvous with command. All due respect, if that were you, you'd want us to divert, right? Never leave a man behind. Stand down, Private. There'll be consequences. Like what? Consequences. Yeah, tell him, Ruin. Be the dog that is like the bad boy. The one that questions authority. Go against the man, man. Because fuck yeah, America. That's what we do. Soldier. Nothing to it. Nice throw, Baker. I look quite like a frag to cause offense. Let's move. I gotta admit though, Baker is actually pretty cute. Like, I love a woman with tattoos. Service backstory. She's fucking cute too. Look at her whooping ass. Okay, I see you, girl. Damn the dodges. Her eating up hits. Ooh, that's not good. Damn, the fact that she's able to handle all those guys. Like, I'm impressed. I gotta find me a woman that can handle me like that. <gasps> Bitch! Yo, he's pissing me the fuck off. That's right. Right in the neck, bitch. Damn. I need to have her as my bodyguard. Oh, that was a practice the whole time? Get the fuck out. 
Are you ready to become enforcer? Oh, that's that girl from part three. Okay. Wait, what is she gonna do? <gasps> I don't like this. Holy shit. And this is Twerk's backstory. The infamous Corporal Kieran McKay. Hi, that's me. Impressive record. Multiple commendations for engineering excellence. With reprimands for insubordination, failures of discipline, and willful destruction of army property. Well, I don't always think things through. It's Hothead, that you're I see you. Three weeks for hospitalizing your CO. Care to talk me through it? <laughs> Bunch of rookies on base, barely three days in. Failed surprise inspection. That ray of sunshine decided the best way to teach them the error of their ways was to run them into the ground. Two of them developed hyperthermia. Oh, shit. Figured I'd give him a dose of his own medicine. Or at the very least, a dose of some of the strongest bowel unblockers I could find in the infirmary. That fucker got to do some running of his own that night. Ha! Stand bullies. I like this guy. Okay. I've got a proposition for you that I think will be mutually beneficial. Thank you for watching this episode of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you guys next week.